Good afternoon, guys. Day two back here at the farm. I just picked up a TMR mixer and we're going to drop it off here. This is for obviously the cattle. So we'll, this is where we mix a few products like hay straw and silage. So I'm going to try and back this up the best I can. Sometimes using the mirrors isn't always the easiest. Okay, let's straighten it out. I'm going to see if I can back it up with the mirrors. Let's try it here. If I can, I'm going to get it somewhat lined up here so that like that, that's pretty good. And then hopefully I can, I can do the rest nice and easy. But I try and do this sometimes. Now, all I have for reference, again, is the mirrors. I can't, like, turn my head around. Otherwise, I'm looking into the seat. But we'll see if we can do it. No, 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 no. Too much. See, so the mirrors don't catch, like, the whole entire trailer. I wish I could adjust them. But I think, um, turn, crank it back the other way. Where's that post? I don't want to hit that wooden post. Right there's the post. I think we're really, really close to it. Oh, I bet we did a good job. Yes, we did. Cool. Okay, that that's a little crooked, but that's the best that can do, I guess. There we go. That was actually pretty cool. There we are. That wasn't easy, though. Just obviously with the mods, I can't turn around and see, and the mirrors don't get, like, the full thing, so I can't see the tires perfectly and stuff. But really cool tow mirrors. Really nice tow mirrors on the Ford. All right, so for those who missed yesterday's episode, yesterday we were setting up the farm, and this is the farm. So this is just for those who missed it. Here is our farm. This is on the UMRV map. Some people were asking why I call it the Iowa map, because technically we are on Iowa. It's this size of, side of the map is Iowa. And then Wisconsin here. It, it's like turned upside down. So don't get... This is the Mississippi. Iowa should be over here, but it's actually over here. It's like the map's upside down kind of. But here's our three main tractors we got right now. We have a Magnum MX-285, case Magnum, and then I put the uh, the rear duals. Then we have the John Deere 9RX. It's the 9620 engine inside. Put some weights on the front. Uh, what else is it? Got extra beacons and all that jazz. So we're hooked up there. I don't know if we'll have an implement that uh that can really push this guy around so that's good that will be the boss on the farm and then we have a little nine or a, sorry a six r it's four wheel drive i was gonna get the two wheel drive version but i'm gonna move it or i'm gonna mainly use it for mowing and then when snow comes i want to put a plow not a plow a blower on the front or the back just in case i want it on the front i got a pto option there so that and and for anything else honestly we could use this for uh I was going to just use a big old bat wing, the 15 foot John Deere, which I was going to pick up today, but we could always use some other rig. So I might hold off on buying the mower right now because guys, we're doing cows. So we're going to have to mow a lot, get a lot of hay, a lot of straw. Oh, and then I almost missed out on a 4440. And then we have the front loader on here. I got a bale, bale spike, bale spear, and a bucket. So that's what we're looking at for equipment. I guess we got the, the case Titan. 4540 so real quick i'm heading down i gotta pick up something special i gotta pick up a grain trailer i have a super b pace setter that i'm picking up so let's jump in the w990 this thing is a beast again expendables thank you so much and we are heading out now and then for those who missed always also i guess i didn't share this is my f450 6.7 liter power stroke i love the color design i chose blacked out the rims and then blacked out the two-tone or the bottom half of the two-tone looks really really good so Here's the truck right there. Beautiful, super duty. 6.7 liter dually. And I got a snow plow on the front too. So I might push some snow with it come winter time along with the 6R for the blower. So that's my snow removal setup because we're going to have a lot of concrete. We're doing construction over here. We have the main dairy side farm of it right now. And we will be working on the ground. I would, We need to level it out, get construction going. And then uh, I was going to get a bulldozer to do that. But we really don't even ha have a grain storage system set up. I was going to get the huge GSI complex. And that would <laughs> that would suit all our needs. But it's really expensive. But uh, I think we'll be able to afford it. We sold our California map. Some people were asking about that. We sold that. Or, sorry, excuse me. Sold the farm. And so we moved over here. We just weren't digging California for the long run. And I really want to stay on this Iowa map. Once it came out, I knew I wanted to jump on here. So... We're gonna head down there and i'll see you guys when we pick up the super b all right so we're backing up to the super b now pace setter there you go you can see it in my mirror hopefully we get this right just a little bit more and there we go we're attached so we got the pace setter wilson pace setter super b so we have we have two times the storage now also we have two times the length it's very large and then it's not your typical looking pace setter that you see people run now i got that tarp on that uh, tarp on the top to be to be white that's just for say say I want to hold it for a little or just to cool this thing down in case we have any problem with heat 
I don't want to like overheat the the grain have it in there sitting hot so we don't want black I, I made the tarp white and then of course we had the the normal white panels or the the main color of it white and then the rims I didn't have a choice on that they were they were I guess like gunmetal black gray charcoal mix but it's a little different looking let me know what you think I think it's kind of it, it's a little funky but it's unique and that's kind of what I like I don't want the typical equipment I kind of want to make my farm unique fresh it kind of looks fresh I guess a little bit but there we are and then I forgot to show you guys there is a there's a fire station in town in McGregor and then there's also tractor supply but there's John Deere dealership and then here is the fire station some people were wondering like uh is there a fire station police station there is a here i'll go into town real quick there is a fire station three stall fire station not not a huge one but not small either there is an applebee's i think there's a casey no is there a casey's general store anyway that's like the a lot of the typical gas station in iowa a very popular gas station is, is casey's so, so for those who aren't really from the midwest don't know that i think there's a police station but somewhere around here i guess for those who are who are on the server let me know and then we will shoot out of town guys head back to the farm we got a lot to do today so now i'm not entirely sure where i'm gonna put this but for now i think i'll just that way it's not in the way of anything i'll, I'll kind of put it just i don't know alongside this shed here i don't really have too much space over there but most of the storage will take place over here like i'll be this is where a lot of this stuff honestly i'll, I'll just keep it attached for right now but a lot of stuff is going to go down here. I got to get the GSI grain complex up. So we will be placing that down, working this ground, smoothing it out, and then putting a, quite a bit more storage here. So I need to level out this ground here that you see. We'll have two levels. We'll have this level up here and then the lower level. So we'll have a nice step down, a nice drive like you see like this. Try and smooth it off a bit more. So it's not so slanted, but... Uh, you can only go so far with the developer tool now this field does have a bit of a slope so when we work with it we'll have to kind of work with it i guess and adjust it accordingly but let's get to that guys hopefully you enjoy this time lapse i'll try and get the work done really really quick enjoy All right, guys, we're only gone for a little bit and construction is done. So here it is. We have two outside sheds, just pretty much overhead. Nothing too special about that. That's actually in game. I kind of like that mod. I need to work the ground a little bit here. And then here's our jumbo shed. Now the ground's a little rough. We, we, we got to work on just a few spots. Unfortunately, with the, de de like the developer tool and placing everything down, it's not as easy as like one two and then this is a similar shed to what we had earlier so this guy is going to be big this is where a lot of our implements are going to go honestly probably all of our implements will go in here i'm thinking and just be done with it and then maybe a few machines and kind of i don't know we'll figure it out i'm sure i'll change things but big boy implements will go inside here some will just stay outside too it's not a big deal like when we're using them but for sure storage we'll keep them in there nice and tight and keep that packed in and then that's pretty much it that's all we added and then bolton cj came to the farm so they actually uh i think cj found a good 50, 15 foot bat wing it's like lightly used they said they only used it for a year so we can make use that to cut grass that'll be really good to make some hay and then i need to get like hay equipment i need to get a tetterer a wind rower i need to get like a actual baler so we will that's something probably for tomorrow. I've been looking on Facebook for used ones. Otherwise, I'll just get new ones. And uh, it's slowly coming together. But the there's our bale, conveyor belt. We will... Uh, that's not a bad spot for it. For now. For now. That's not a bad spot. But we do need to... We're going to get big boy implements here soon as well. Probably tonight. Hopefully, we can get a few in. I think they're bringing some down. So they might be surprising us mid-vid. Which is always fun. But we will see kind of uh, how things play out. I actually, you know what? I'll take that planter down. Here, should we run? I'll just use the 6R for the planter. Should be just fine. I'm going to take the planter down to the shed just so we have everything squared away. And then they're coming back. I think they're bringing two Kenzie grain carts. We got a really good deal on that. 
at the uh, at the there's like a Kenzie kind of used dealership in uh, in a case dealership not too far away from McGregor. So we went there. It was about an hour and a half drive. We got that figured out. But the planner's pretty big for the 6R. The tires are kind of popping back there. Ooh, that was a tight squeeze. But there we go. We'll take this over here, and then I should probably. I always just like to have flasher on, even though it's daytime. <laughs> All right, maybe I should have used the 6R for this. The DV60 is a beast, and uh, just moving it around the 6R. I mean, it's not hard on it, but like you can just tell it's a little strenuous on it. And then honestly, yeah, I think this little shed that we have here got to work the ground a little bit right there and stuff. But I think the place is coming together. And then I want to maybe get like some windmills, like maybe around here. I don't know. I really don't know what to do with this middle space here, but I'm sure we're going to come up with something and I'm sure it'll be just fine. I can't really complain about too much space. Well, let's go ahead and get this backed in. I'm thinking I might put it along the wall or we'll butt it up next to, we'll just have to see. I might just butt it up next to it, but along the wall, wouldn't be a bad option too. We'll see my backing up skills. I'm not going to be using my mirrors for this, but we'll for sure go third person. Use my mirrors for this would be just way too difficult. All right, turn it off. All right, that should be good, right? All right, is that good? All right, perfect. There she is. That's a good spot for it. Doesn't take up a, like any room at all. But once we get cultivators, once we we have a seed or two that we're gonna get. Actually, I think we have the. Oh yeah, we have the cedar. Let me bring that over to you. I might need the case. For that but here's cj and the boys is that cj right we're getting here and i got the cedar on the back but cj's unimog he just loves that thing and get oh my goodness no cj stop this out try and straighten it out straighten it out okay i'll do you that almost here. hit the pole dude oh my goodness are you stuck oh, i am back up a I bit now get some speed get some speed nope i'm stuck all right so cj got it unloaded we got it figured out so it fits really good in here though for at first, I thought these were going to be small, but they are they are pretty big. So we have pretty small uh, grain carts here. They hold still 40,000 liters. So that is almost a whole... Two, two of these is almost a whole load in the uh, in the Super B. So yeah, I'm not too worried about it. And I really like them because they are small. Sometimes it uh, like the 6R should be able to... Hold, maybe not. Uh, well, with the full load, I don't know if the 6R would be able to handle it. But they maybe it would. I don't know maybe we'll test it out so let's get the cedar back in here and then we will we'll probably start planning here at the end of the week maybe early next week if the weather's good it's not raining doesn't get too soft out in the fields right now they're pretty good so maybe we should jump on that but we'll get this as close as we can over here can i use my mirrors kind of i like how i have three different mirrors but it's it just doesn't give me the view that I need. And perfect. There we go. So the farm is coming together. There's Bolt. He he brought the 15 footer. And uh, we will get started on planning. It'll probably be a whole season till we even bring cows in. I do need to start looking for a, uh, a good. Oh. oh, by the way, Bolt, where's your raptor? In the garage. Oh, it's in the garage. What's this? <laughs> Um, and my buddy tried, he let me uh, borrow it. I see. It's 2018 F450. Gotcha. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. What, uh, I get, oh, okay, well, you, you didn't want to pull it with the Raptor, I guess? No. It wasn't with him. Gotcha. He let me borrow it for the wheat. That's good. So I have a F450 for wheat. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so we all kind of, mostly CJ has a weird vehicle. CJ, your Bronco? I mean, I love it. Yep, my it's Bronco. It's so cool. It's not weird. Sorry. It's unique. Oh, you can put a plow on it, too? I sure can. Oh, my goodness, dude. We are plowing with that. No questions asked. All right, then. That's awesome. We'll see how it works, I guess. For sure. So, I was thinking with the 6R, we'll put a blower on it and, like, do this main square because it's going to be so hard to push. And then, uh, and then we can get plows and, like, you know, clean up by the farm and... For sure. Different stuff um... Like where do you want this mower, Spencer? You can put it... Uh, if you want, you can put it back close to the farm. Sure. Like, like yeah, put it in one of our... The overhead to open. 
Or, okay. or over here, it doesn't matter. Probably back at the I'll farm. go put it over there. I think that makes more sense. Yeah, a little smaller. All right, so I think that's it for today. We're, we got a few more things, and then uh, when I wrap a little off-camera stuff. So I think that'll be it. I'll put this away. There goes CJ. And then thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. Really enjoyed making it, and the farm is coming together. But we're going to figure out the silos. At first, um, I was thinking we were going to go with certain ones but i don't know we'll figure it out so i and i kind of got to figure out like kind of how we're going to arrange them and what i want it to look like so we're going to hang out there and oh, that's so cool literally using a brocco to back up a a mower his little ball hitch there so that worked out just fine here we go so thank you so much for watching today's episode guys peace out i will see you tomorrow